What's going on, guys? It's your boy, a little Tiki Torch, back with another anime review 86 episode 5. Man, yo, if you guys watched 86 episode 4 that I did on that review, uh, I did say that this one was gonna be a filler. I also said there was gonna be a little bit of action. And my gosh, we actually opened up on a filler part that's so important. I'm surprised that they actually put this at the beginning of the episode, but. We've got Lena, her father, the pilot, and then Shin's brother all in the same vicinity. So it opens up with Lena's, obviously, the helicopter that Lena had her and her father in went down. And the pilot gave up a good fight uh, to try and save Lena, although he couldn't. So Shin's brother happens to see the helicopter go down and responds to that situation. Finds Lena, protects her, basically sees Shin, his little brother, in her, right? And she has a full conversation, so much so that she actually knows, like, Dooley Hand, like, still remembers them to this day. So, we had an imprinting interaction as well. So, after learning all of this, right, seeing all that stuff, you know, we, we go back and Lena is talking to Henrietta about what happened with everything, like, how she feels right now. Henrietta notices that she, something's a little off with her health. She looks a little a little tired, I guess. And she's telling her that the parabrid actually does a lot of stress on the brain. So after they talk about the ball and kind of the festival that's supposed to be coming up, which we know that's going to be in the next episode, which is going to kind of suck. Again, it's going to be a filler, I think, most of the time. I think we're going to get less information as I keep thinking about it. As he says, there are more black sheep in this battle than there have been in the other ones. She doesn't know what this is. Apparently, none of the elbows know what it is. Or if they do, they kept it under wraps because uh, she, she's not too sure. This is what Jerome was talking about whenever he warned her about the squadron and about the Undertaker. So he can hear them which are the echoes from the dead 86s that have been basically farmed out of their mechs in order to harvest the brain so that they could create another CPU that's essentially the same. But with them taking this brain, they don't take the essence of the person or who it was or the personality, but some of it does still come up and some of some of it does manifest itself into a voice. So that's why Shin can hear all these sort of regretful thoughts. We hear Tanya at the end of this whole entire like flip out scene that uh, Lane is going through because she's losing total control, doesn't know what's what. And she's starting to see things it's so much so that she actually starts hallucinating inside a room after this whole thing's happened. So Shin explains to her they're black sheep exactly what I said before they're basically taking the brains of those mechs and trying to create new ones and better ones so that this quote-unquote two-year war that's supposed to or the war that's supposed to end in quote-unquote two years can't end in two years because what you guys plan for is that brain that CPU to be the one that dies out he's like what if they made more and then that's where her whole idea kind of gets flipped around we know that they're making more and we know that Shin's brother has a big play in this, and I think Lena's father has a big play in this. I'm wondering if Jerome does too. I feel like uh, one of the lows is, is now Shin's brother, and Shin wants to go and get that. We know that Shin's mech is also uh, his brother's old mech, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think Henrietta's got some point, some part of her that is yet to be shown. I don't know. There's just something about her that just... Uh, it doesn't really rub me the wrong way, but it's it's like she's hiding something, man. It's definitely something that she's hiding. Jerome, I think, is hiding something well as well, and I'm hoping that this next episode kind of helps expand on that. Maybe it will since it's a festival episode, I'm guessing, and maybe we'll see the interaction between Lena and Jerome kind of play out a little bit more so we can get an idea or a sense of where he's... Uh, what path he's really trying to choose or what his end goal might possibly be. Uh, I want to see what really happened with the body of Lena's father. I didn't see it burn. Um, I also want to see the explanation as to why uh, Shin's brother is, was trying to kill him or uh, succeeded in killing him and uh, why Shin is kind of so adamantly accepting of that fate that his brother wants him dead 
other than that man uh like i said can't wait to see the next episode episode six um hopefully i get to see you guys in the next one after this festival so give a thumbs up if you liked the video uh hit the sub button down below and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one